Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hiya. This is a game about drawing your attacks. This is a cheap game that released this morning on the 19th, and uh, it is two bucks, or your regional equivalent, and it is a game about drawing your attacks. It's that simple. It's a very simple concept, and it's executed in a very simple fashion. Uh, it kind of takes after samurai films, like I feel like a lot of games that have come out recently, kind of, it's a theme that is hot right now, I'll put it that way, but it's a, it's a game where you play as various different ronin, and your goal is to, um, cut things up, but you do that in kind of an interesting fashion, you draw your attacks. So, uh, from the start here, you can see I, I have all of the characters unlocked, and I've got various scores on each one. We'll play a couple of them, probably all of them for this video, because the runs are pretty quick. Currently on the leaderboards, it's just me and the developer and a few friends. There's like seven people on the leaderboards currently, so I'd like to see that fill up a bunch uh, once this game's fully released. But um, each of these different characters has different perks, and they each have a set of achievements that you need to unlock for each of them to complete the character. So uh, those achievements are Master Combo, kill 15 enemies in a combo, uh, get 5,000 points, and get 10,000 points. I've completed them all on this character, who I think is probably the, the strongest just because of the movement speed boost, but we'll start with the first one. So attacking does not require a full bar. So the, the way this game works, essentially, is there, there is a blood bar up at the top of the screen, right? That blood bar fills up when it hits full um, on most of the characters, you can then click and hold down the mouse button while using WAS to move, and then you get iframes during this period, and you draw a line around the uh, arena that you're fighting in, and your character then uh, teleports from unit to unit and one-shot kills everything. This is one of those games where you, where you, where you die in one hit, unless you're playing uh, this guy who has two lives. So when, when, when uh, you take, you can take hits whenever you're moving around, but when you are attacking, you'll just fly straight through enemy uh, bullets and whatnot. We're gonna take a real quick look at the options menu before we get in. One thing that I would really like on this would be a, um, uh, what, what, what you I call it, a um, uh, no screen shape. Kind of. I want the character. I want the camera to be more locked to the character because currently it's a little smooth. Um, but that's mainly my only real ask there. It's a very simple game graphically, which you'll see in a few seconds. So you select your character, and then you're in game. You move around, and there is some bullet hell. And then you hit the button, and you draw your attacks. And that's it. That is the video game. It's very, very, very simple, like I said, but it's very well executed, and it feels pretty damn good. Look at this! Oh! I actually uh, received key from the developer from this game uh, because I saw a GIF on Twitter, and I was like, you know what? I want to play that. That looks fun. I didn't know I wanted that, but it exists now, so fantastic. It's not the hardest thing. Uh, some characters are much harder to play than others. Ah, and then, as I said, you, you die in one hit. Um, it's not the hardest thing. I, it's funny how I was talking about difficulty um, right right as I died, but it's it just boots you right back into another run. In order to uh, select a new character, you have to back back out to the main menu. I kind of wish that there was like maybe just a quick restart button or like a select a new character button, uh, just because that, that would be like, you know, a little bit of a quality of life feature. It took me a second to realize, oh, I have to literally like back out to the main menu um, to to select a different character. So this character uh, doesn't have the uh, requirement that the bar has to be full in order to start a new attack. I can just start one whenever. And as, as I said, you, you don't have iframes when you're just walking around. I didn't see that ball. Um, I'm playing horribly now. I was actually I was starting to get on a roll before I started this video up, but now I've started this video up, and here I am just, like, kind of embarrassing myself as I do. All right. But, you know, anybody who watches my videos frequently will know that bullet hell stuff is not my forte, so... It's just such a good little loop. And it is super satisfying. All right. It also doesn't seem like something that would take too too long to complete all these challenges. I mean, I, I've finished about half of the achievements in the game so far, and I've played about 30 minutes of this. So it seems to be a pretty short experience. Of course, there is the leaderboard if you would like to, you know, chase your friends or the global leaderboard and try and get your, your score up there. I think that's probably going to be the meat of this. Ooh. Let's just go hit you. There is one character as well that doesn't actually get the, like, time slowdown, but can use his attack whenever. 
There's a character with a large hammer who I'll probably show. Uh, there's a character that um, just moves way faster in this mode, like their movement speed is just significantly higher, so the rate at which they can just like horribly avoid everything and just deal with everything very quickly is significantly buffed, and this is going to be a massacre. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's just, 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 that is fine. Okay, let's go uh, do that again. I think this might be my best score on this character now. Hey, you know, I'm unjinxing it, so that's good. Let's just hit that skull over there in the corner, come back around here. Smack, smack, smack. Back around to the front. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. I am completely out of blood, though. I have to wait for the blood to recharge. Even though I don't need to wait for the bar to be full, I do have to have blood in order to attack. And there we go. That is my best score on that character, though. So let's back out and show you guys a different one. Uh, so this guy down here, Oda, he's got uh, two lives and he destroys all enemies when damaged. So when he takes one damage and loses his first life, all enemies on the screen die. And he has a combo multiplier. Music's pretty good, too, if not a bit repetitive. Funk. It fits the theme, I guess. Serves its purpose. Smack, 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 and smack. Thunk, thunk, and thunk. Look at that. And of course, the extra life is a massive boon. So we can't attack in until the bar is full. Let's try and get that skull. Deal with some of the bullets that are flying around. Ah. Mada, mada. We lost our first life. Now we're on to life two. Which also immediately fills up our blood bar, which is a nice, 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 nice thing for us. Look at that. Clearing that screen. Ay, 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 yeah. A little sketchy. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ah. That's all that we've got left. I thought we were dead there, if I'm not being if I'm being honest. It's very much kind of a butt killenchy feeling when that bar is like not quite full. And stuff's just surrounding you and you're like, please. Okay. Now that's gonna be a mess. 15, 18, 20, let's go. Hey, okay. <laughs> but hey, you know, I, I mean, two achievements for one run. I kind of feel like there should be some tougher achievements in this game because for people who are going to play this just to unlock the achievements, I, I don't think it'll take people too long to, you know, get all of these challenges on each character. So uh, this is probably my favorite one, but he's kind of boring because he just moves faster. So I'm going to show you our friend here with the hammer. So, he destroys everything in an AoE when he gets to the end of his attack. So, you want to drop him in a spot with a big cluster of dudes right at the end. Oh, I just missed the skull. I was aiming for it, but... Also worth doing, like, kind of close-range attacks on this guy. Just kind of hope that we can clear this. Aye. Actually, like, doing a pretty bad job of this. Okay, let's clear you. And back up where that skull is and hopefully hit the... Perfect. Okay, right? Also, as another dude spawned. Let's try and get those dudes up top. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. We do have iframes. Hopefully, we'll end in the middle of everything. Try and get that skull over in the corner, I think. Yes! Oh, man. <laughs> and we get sniped right as we reappear. Let's do one more round on this guy, and then, then, then we'll show you the final character that you unlock. But yeah, if I had any real criticisms for this, I, I kind of just wish that there was more achievements. 
They don't need to be tied to unlocks, but just like, you know, score thresholds or time survived, that sort of thing. Because games like this, the whole point is just to work towards achievements. That or like, you know, halo S skull modifiers or something. I have no idea how much the dev plans to update this, if anything, or if this is just kind of like, here's an idea, it's kind of a one-off thing. I'd be totally fine with it at that, because at the price of two bucks, it's like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> ah. Kind of screwed that one up. So the last character that you have here, abilities, almost no delay, delay between attacks, slow-mo during attacks, no slow-mo during attacks, and faster movement, two times combo multiplier. So he's your highest combo multiplier, but you don't get the slow-mo. You have to be very quick on the aim. But because you have no delay between attacks, you can really be a little bit ruthless with this. Almost feels like I'm playing Fruit Ninja. Like this. So you do still get the iframes while you're in the attack animation, but not outside of it. Mouse accuracy and speed is very important with this character. Which is not something I'm very good at. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Okay. It is extremely satisfying when you get a run going, though, and you just, like, manage to just keep pulling it off time and time again. It's kind of funny. Every now and again, there will be frame rate lag when there's too much stuff dying on screen at the same time. And then the final character is this one who I've completed everything on already, who just moves way faster, which is why they're so strong, because they can just dodge the most efficiently. I think I got, and this is why I say I kind of just wish that there was more mastery achievements and stuff, because I unlocked every achievement on this, uh, the first time, this character, the first time I played it. So, you know, it's... But just as a simple little experience, if this is a mechanic that you didn't realize that you needed in a video game until you saw it just now, I, this is a pretty cool little thing, I gotta, I gotta be honest. Pretty cool little thing. Let's just hit you as best we can. Ah, man. But that, my friends is high, uh, a cheap little experience focused on one very cool little mechanic. Ever wanted to draw your attacks with a sword and watch the carnage behind you as things fly to pieces? Well, now you can, courtesy of this video game. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more weird games, uh, go over to my YouTube channel where you can find tons of weird games and uh, uh, <laughs> that you probably haven't heard of. And uh, if you want to see me play video games and you want to see my face while I do that, go over to twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Links are in the description. If you want to support this channel directly, links to my Patreon are in the description, as well as Super Thanks is now active on this channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.